Hey everyone, this is Jason Ostrowski and welcome to the Everything Real Estate Podcast. Today we have a special segment that I'm going to play that was pre-recorded for us by Debbie DeGroat. Now Debbie DeGroat, many of you may know that name. Um, Debbie was actually on a Zoom class with us last week on a segment on how to thrive in chaos. She's done many events with Fox and Roach through the years. And for those of you who don't know who Debbie is, she is the owner and founder of Excelium Coaching and Consulting, which has been ranked by Inc. 5000 for two consecutive years as one of the fastest growing companies in the nation. She is also an author, a keynote speaker, and a preferred coach to many large companies and brands. Debbie was gracious enough to pre-record a segment for our podcast today on scripting you can use right now with buyers and sellers that may need some convincing as to why now is a great time to either buy or sell a property. So with that said, let's get to the segment. I hope you like what you hear and we'll talk on the other side. Good afternoon, Fox and Roach. It is Debbie D. Grote owner and founder of Forward Coaching and Consulting. You know, your leadership team asked me to take a couple of minutes today and talk to you a little bit about some of the scripting you might be able to use when your buyers and sellers are telling you that they would like to wait, that they want to wait until the health crisis is over and they're just not ready to move forward with their sale or their purchase at this time. You know, I think part of what we have to look at as we approach our buyers and sellers is our own personal mindset, right? And I think a little bit of a checkup and realization that home ownership is truly one of the best ways for most Americans to create wealth and to move up the economic ladder. And I really believe that how you can differentiate yourself in this time of crisis is by showing up with educational content, data and relevant information, accurate information that potentially can help these people overcome their fear and their hesitation to achieve the goals that they have set. So now is a great time to prospect for leads, to nurture those leads, and yes, to close those leads. Now, let's also, though, consider the fact that there may be some buyers and sellers who are facing uncertain times when it comes to their employment, or maybe they've had a cut in pay. And, and really, I think of that as a bit more of a condition versus an objection. So if they truly cannot afford to do it, it is truly not possible for them at this time then certainly we wouldn't want to be trying to push them into things that would be inappropriate. So those are not the people that we're talking about. The people that we're talking about are the people who could do it now and potentially should do it now because this may this environment of, of chaos often offers opportunities that they should be taking advantage of. So let's talk about our sellers first of all. So what would I say if a seller said to me, you know, Debbie, I just, I think we should wait to sell. Well, Mr. And Mrs. Seller, I can appreciate why you would be thinking this. You know, if I were you, I would probably have the same thought. May I ask, other than hoping that things might be more favorable in the future, is there any other reason you would hold off putting the home on the market. And let's say they tell you, no, no, we want to sell. We just thought we might get more money if we wait and we don't want a lot of strangers in our home. You know, yes, I completely understand that you would want to time the market to maximize your profits. Wouldn't you agree that probably many other potential sellers in our local market feel the same way. You see, because of this, we expect that there could be a potential tidal wave of listings once we get past this immediate crisis. This of course means you would have increased competition to contend with, and we really don't know for certain what will happen with the interest rates. Here is what we do know. 
right now there are serious buyers out there and there is very little inventory. And of course, we only need one right buyer for your home. Wouldn't it be a shame if the right buyer came along and you were not on the market and they missed you? And you know, Mr. And Mrs. Seller, there are many safe and creative ways we can market the property if you're open to discussing them. And of course, if we go to market and don't get the response we want, we could always put the property on hold. And if you do not receive offers that are acceptable, we could simply turn them down and wait for a better one. Does this make sense to you? So tell me, ideally by when would you like your home sold to the right buyer? So remember, you're asking questions, you're determining is there truly a condition that would not allow them to move forward, and of course, if they're at risk, their health would put them in danger to show the property, that's a whole different set of circumstances. And yet across the country, home sellers are listing their homes every day, and agents are finding safe and creative ways to get them sold. Okay, so let's talk about the buyers for a moment. Maybe the buyer is asking you, do you think I should wait? Well, Mr. And Mrs. Buyer, tell me, do you feel your job or your income is at risk? No, we're gonna be fine. We're just wondering if the prices will go down in the next couple of months. Well, no one has a crystal ball, especially now. Here's what we do know, across the country, the real estate market is still very strong. Also, there are buyers who are holding back right now, and once the chaos passes, they will flood the market. Now, what that would mean for you is it could mean increased competition for the home you want. If we work closely with a quality lender, we can also potentially time it just right to capture an extremely low interest rate. And of course, this means over the next several years of home ownership, you could save many thousands of dollars. You know, even if the prices were to adjust slightly down, if the rates go up, truly over the long term, there's no real benefit to waiting, is there? And of course, you'd have to stay paying rent or in your current property, and it's not really where you want to be. Wouldn't you rather just go ahead, get on with your plans, live where you want to live? And of course, I haven't even mentioned the beneficial tax deductions you will receive. What if we do this? What if we simply keep researching and shopping? And if the right home comes along, I think you'll know what you should do, don't you? Right? Because, see guys, the bottom line is, Fear and hesitation can get in the way of them making a wise decision. You are their wise advisor. Counsel them, ask the right questions, and be an expert in your market data. Share with them how many homes are sold, how many homes are listed, days on market. Are there still multiple bids occurring? Help them make the decision based on logic and information versus emotion. And I would really encourage you to partner with a fabulous lender because I think right now they can really help you talk the buyer off the ledge, show them data, show them projections, show them historical interest rates so that they truly can see now can be an incredible opportunity. And again, no one has a crystal ball. And yet, when you think about the fact that across the country, buyers are still making multiple offers, they're still offering in many cases more than the home is listed for, I think it just shows you that once the crisis has passed, we potentially would have a big tidal wave of buyer and seller demand. So help your buyers, help your sellers find that window of opportunity that the market may be presenting. And good luck and stay safe. All right, I look forward to talking to you soon. Have a great day. 
Okay, we're back, and I hope you enjoyed that segment by Debbie DeGroat. Um, I hope there was some takeaways in there for you. I know just my two cents on the matter is, um, you know, based off of what Debbie was saying, I almost envision this time period being like what we see here when we have a really bad winter season, right? We have, you know, a bunch of blizzards that have happened or, you know, it's it's freezing cold outside. There's buyers that, that don't want to go outside. There's sellers that want to wait until spring. But we need to let our clients know that now may be a good time to sell or buy for those particular reasons. There are people sitting on the sidelines right now And you might be the only game in town if you can convince your seller that properties are still selling, buyers are still buying, even though that might be harder in some states than others. I would argue that Pennsylvania probably has the strictest rules because of the shelter in place. It's a little bit tougher, but sales are still happening. We're seeing them happen in the marketplace. So if we can provide the statistics and evidence to back that up to our sellers, number one, and number two, convince our buyers that between the interest rates right now and the fact that you may be the only buyer to to look at a seller's property right now because everybody is hanging back, it may be beneficial for both sides. I think Debbie has a fantastic quote when she says, fear and hesitation can get in the way of making a wise decision. And I think the way that we um, basically disarm that fear and hesitation from our sellers and buyers is by providing that evidence, the scripting that Debbie uses here, and tell you know our buyers and sellers that now is a good time to buy or sell based on these reasons. If we come with solid evidence and you know sound logic, then they are going to listen to us and we are going to be those experts that they value. Well, that's it for our episode today. Thank you for joining us. We'll be back soon with some new guests, uh, some new episodes. And if there is a topic that you'd like me to cover, please feel free to reach out to me, jason.ostrowski at foxroach.com. But for now, stay safe out there and we'll catch you next time on the Everything Real Estate Podcast. 